Anthropic has just released Claude 2.1 which now has a context window of 200,000 tokens. So that means Claude can now write, understand, interpret up to 150,000 words or over 500 pages of material. That is absolutely insane. So in today's video, we'll be doing a deep dive into Claude 2.1. We'll be testing out the outputs and see how it compares to OpenAI's GPT-4 Turbo. So let's go ahead and get started. When it comes to accessing Claude 2.1, there's two ways in which you can use Claude 2.1. You can use it either onto their chat interface, so they said that it's already been integrated with Claude 2.1, or you can play around with it in the API console. So you may need to create an account for the API console, and you may need to get accepted into that. But once you get accepted into that, especially if you wanna build on top of Claude, if you're a developer, if you just wanna see how Claude will work in terms of an API um, stage that you can use it on the um, the console mode. This is kind of like the playground mode that's included in OpenAI. So this is cool because we know for a certain we're using um, Claude 2.1 and we can also prompt the system. We can play around with the temperature and we can also play around with the max tokens. So this gives us a new level of customization options that we have when it comes to creating our content with Claude 2.1. So let's go ahead and actually test out the um, console mode when using Claude 2.1. For the prompts, I'm keeping it very simple because I find that Claude works better with simpler prompts. So for the system prompt, I told it that you're an expert blog post writer. You specialize in writing in-depth, high-quality SEO optimized blog posts for a variety of topics. And for the first prompt for the outline, I've told it that your first task is to write an in-depth blog post outline for the article about how to increase email opt-ins for my e-commerce store, be in-depth and comprehensive. So now we're actually going to run that input. So for this topic, how to increase email opt-ins, we get an intro, we get the first H1, which is about optimizing website copy, offer strong lead magnets, make social media shoppable, retarget site visitors, include setup forms, optimizing for mobile users, testing and optimization, and a conclusion. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to now tell the AI to use this outline to write the full article. And then we're actually going to have to add this um, this response from Claude into um, the thread here. So we're going to remove this. So as we can see here, this is the assistance response, which is Claude. So now that it has the um, outline, we're going to tell it to use that outline to write the full article. To write the full article, I've told the AI to use the outline above, write the full article, write in markdown, include lists, tables, charts, case studies, relevant examples, and bolded words. Follow all of the best on-page SEO writing tips to write an SEO optimized article targeting the keyword, how to increase email opt-ins for my e-commerce store. So now we're going to run that. And as you can see here, it's going to write that full article for us. And this is the full article in which we get back. Now, what I could have done is I could have added in a word count because I find that if you actually tell Claude to write 2000 words, it will listen to you. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to tell it to expand this article so that it's more in depth and that we get at least 2000 words. So again, I've added that into this conversation. Now I'm going to tell it to expand this article. Okay, so I've simply told it to expand this article, keeping the same style. So it is at least 2000 words. Now the AI has expanded the article. As you can see, it's a lot longer. Um, let's just do a quick word counter. It looks to be about, so it's about 1200 words, which is again, not as long as I would like it to be, but length isn't always the most important factor. It's about how um, high quality, in depth and relevant this article is. So once your article is complete, the best way to make sure that you're able to still keep the formatting in terms of your H1s, your H2s, and so on, is you want to add it to your conversation. And when you add it to your conversation, it's going to convert that content into Markdown. So let's now go ahead and we're going to copy it over, head down to Markdown to HTML Converter. Then we're going to paste it in. And as you can see here, it now has all of the, the best formatting. It has your H1s, it has your bullet words, it has your icons, it has your list and so on. So this is how you're really going to be able to see, you know, how high quality your content is or isn't. And you'll be able to read the content a lot easier. Okay. So once you have your content converted, you can paste that onto a word document so you can read through the content a lot better. So I like Claude because it, doesn't really have a lot of fluff it goes right to the point it's very easy to read and it also does really well when it in terms of ai detection score 
So just out of curiosity, I'll be doing a new scan from the content that we got back from um, Claude 2.1. I just want to see how that does in terms of AI detection score. We didn't prompt it in any way for it to reduce AI, so it'll be interesting to see what the um, results are. But just from taking a look at the article, I would say that it's a pretty high quality article. It actually does include emojis as well, which is different. I haven't seen that from um, OpenAI. It has nice lists, it has um, sort of nice formatting, it's very skimmable, very easy to read. It really does offer very relevant information to the article topic in which we're writing about. And look at that, in terms of AI detection, it is 99% original and only 1% AI. And that is without me prompting the AI to do anything. So there are some definite benefits to using Claude, especially Claude 2.1. That is now you're able to write content that is original, that's less likely to be detected from originality.ai. And you're also able to write really high quality content. And if you are a developer, this is exciting because now you can play around with the API and start building on top of Claude. So I'll probably be doing some more in-depth reviews of Claude 2.1, especially comparing it to GPT-4 Turbo to see which one is better when it comes to generating long form articles. But I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.